for the half million dollar price tag and because an out-of-state artist was commissioned to do the work. As News 5's Catherine Underwood tells us, residents who live next to the parkway are also upset. And they are not alone, Marisa. Since the sculptures were placed on the freeway walls, there have been a lot of irate phone calls. People who feel the money could be better spent on the homeless or other social problems, and people who just don't like how the art looks. In fact, protesters put up their own artwork on the freeway walls. We talked with some homeowners living next to the Squaw Peak Parkway who want the giant teacups, saucers, and vase taken down. Yes, I have a petition that uh, asks the city more or less to take their artwork and go away. Well, we think it really cheapens the neighborhood, and we've worked too hard to preserve our homes. Considering the impact we had with the Squaw Peak Parkway, it really is aggravating at this late date to have them come in and put in stuff like this. I mean, I hate to call it art because I don't think it's art. I think it's ugly. I don't think, uh, I think it's out of proportion, and it certainly doesn't mitigate some of the more important problems like noise, the harshness of the walls, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It makes us look cheap and like a 10 cent store. We're not up for show. We've created a lot of publicity where people are coming by gawking at it. This is supposed to be a private residential street and it has ceased to be that. It's a public thoroughfare now. It's a seventh lane of the freeway. The residents we talked with there, Pat Sation, her husband George Sation, and Mary Fish, say that the placement of the artwork is pouring salt on an already open wound. They are angry about the noise the parkway has created in their neighborhoods, the increased traffic and local street closures. They also say they're just tired of all of the people driving by their homes lately, clogging their streets to take a look at the artwork. There certainly has been a lot of talk about this subject and probably will continue for the rest of the week. Absolutely. Thank you, Catherine. Next the sculptures started going up last week, and some Massachusetts artists are getting almost half a million dollars for this project. Mayor Paul Johnson says the whole thing is just outrageous in light of the slumping economy. And citizens yesterday added a trash can and a golden toilet to show their displeasure. And we'd like your opinion on the matter. What do you think about the artwork on the Squaw Peak Parkway? Call our 10 line at 252-1010, then press 1009. We'll share some of your responses on the Channel 10 News, live at 5. A mass rally this morning for a young female. ...worth of Massachusetts made pots now decorate a stretch of the Squaw Peak Parkway. Our Ed Messett shows us tonight, Clay has never taken such a bashing and remains standing. These urns and pots were supposed to make a new freeway look better to neighbors. But when many look at these seed pots and coffee cups, they see only a price tag. When I found out... We paid close to $500,000 to put it up there. I thought it was ridiculous, and somebody in the city administration should be investigated. Neighbors have organized a petition drive asking the city to remove the decorations. The mayor says getting rid of the pots at this late date is unlikely, even though he's no fan of them either. I think it's outrageous that we're spending that much money in today's economy uh, uh, for that type of artwork that was meant to be a mitigation for the neighborhood that doesn't seem to buy into it. The squid base is too big to mess with, but the mayor says some of the smaller pieces may come down because he's worried about vandals. In the meantime, neighbors are hoping some of the new landscaping here will grow tall and bushy very quickly. In Phoenix, Ed Messick, Channel 10 News. Mayor Johnson says he's going to push for new ordinances that would give city council members more decision-making power when it comes to such public art. Earlier tonight, we asked you what you think about that pottery. That's a loaded question, and as you might have guessed, we had an earful. I think they stink. It's been a half a million dollars to two potteries out of state instead of here in Arizona really stinks. Why don't they put the money towards something good and that helps somebody? Nobody can take the time while they're driving to look at these ridiculous pieces of art. Lighten. He paid for and commissioned this piece of art and had it delivered to a city council meeting today. Knowing how strongly you feel about pots, I have arranged for you to have your own private pot demolishing party. I've brought you your own sledge. <laughs> but the mayor only waved his sledgehammer of pot. He says he's concerned smashing that pot could send the wrong message. Several people at City Hall are afraid these objects of art could become the objects of vandals. 
So the last pot has been carted to the mayor's office. He says it'll be his reminder. And future big ticket items will have to get past it to get to Johnson's desk. In Phoenix, Ed Message, Channel 10 News. And the mayor says he's pushing for new ordinances to give the city council more power in decisions about public art.